This is Mina Mileva. I'm Vesela Kazakova. We are writers, directors, and producers of Cat in the Wall. Uh, this is a production between Bulgaria, UK, and France. It's a low budget production, as you see. You can mm -hmm. see. We have a few questions from you after the film. If you are a professional filmmaker, you can see that it's not documentary at all. It's very well organized, it's scripted, also it's funded. So it's um, all the actors are professional, the main actors, and a few others from the block are um, natural people <laughs> living there. The reason we wanted to switch to fiction was actually that our documentary films were um, uh, really um, thunderous. They, they were caused a lot of controversy in Bulgaria and even abroad. Um, our first documentary, Uncle Tony, Three Fools and the Secret Service, uh, nearly saw us in jail, or that's what they were threatening, the but Bulgarian authorities. The second one, Beast is Still Alive, a politician, a member of the parliament, called us the demonic duo. We should have made a t-shirt. But we are women with a vision. <laughs> no women with a vision. Uh. <laughs> So actually it was uh, in a way practically easier to switch to um, fiction. Uh, in that case with Cat and the Wall was um, very natural going to fiction because, um, because kind of it's a true story and maybe you have this question is based on real events. I don't think so. I, I mean, I, I've lived in, in London since 1996 and I've worked in animation and I'm quite in love with the British culture, their humor, with the laughter and um, the whole culture. Uh, the fact that we do critical films, we do them in Bulgaria as well. I mean, we criticize, we try to be... Um, um, to put astute. the mirror of that society. And if somebody... Yeah. Is offended. <laughs> it's offended. It's offended. It, it's not our problem. It's kind of um, sometimes we have a, an anger or something to say. So in that case, it's not kind of point of view, but at least something that we we, 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 <laughs> we care about. We care about. <laughs> Yes, we, um, our main focus, the main motivation was to do, uh, to observe this phenomenal case about how the lo particular London Council in Peckham uses uh, people, the middle classes, like cash points, like one of the characters says in the film. And we wanted to look at uh, the housing crisis and the multicultural tensions in this society. And, uh, and actually, it's all there. It's and so uh, true. <laughs> it's so there. We found it there. Um, the authenticity but in the film is it's very like a purpose for us to, to make it for the viewers uh, to go really into the into the action of the, the real yeah. things. Oh, it's quite cold. We are in the Black Sea, but it's already cold. It's autumn, soon to be winter. Um, I, I was going to say that um, about the documentary fiction thing that our editor, when she saw the footage, she said uh, you have nine takes of the same thing. So she, even she was surprised um, that it is not, um, it's completely fictionalized and it took a lot of work to look so natural. Also the actors, they wanted, um, they put uh, um, a lot of um, intuition in, in the things because as well, uh, although it was written, uh, we actually put them in a so realistic environment that they kind of had to be realistic, had to yeah. be part of it. Uh, and for them it was uh, kind of difficult. Some of them they said, I, I will never do it <laughs> as, as such things because, yeah, you have your lines, but at least it's um, kind Emotional of... Emotional is hard if you have to interact with real people. With real people, and with real, real situation, cases. and they had to handle many things. And also our set designer says that the, the set 
uh, the environment should look as if everything was there for many many years so she worked uh, she made it as if it's uh, like this uh, what's the situation in the UK it's a bit depressing like everywhere but in Britain uh, as you all know the political situation is quite unusual and uh, Brexit overlaps with uh, COVID which is um, and people have this feeling of um, isolation that they live on an island and they can't leave um, and go to another European country um, but uh, I think um, this um, isolation for UK is more difficult than the other countries because we are still in the continent and they are in an island and as our character says in the film one of the characters he said uh, trapped in a Britishness trapped on an island <laughs> I'm the more optimistic, she's more realistic and we need another one who can be the pessimistic, pessimistic. in the team. <laughs> Although uh, this whole situation sounds uh, a bit pessimistic society-wise, but we, we are optimists, we believe that um, society will restructure itself and um, things will be fine. We just need to be vigilant, we need to be politically and socially aware. And our character in the film, she says, I will sort it out. Yes, exactly. We view it that our ending, although the film may, the film may feel a little bit heavy, uh, we think there is light in the end of the tunnel, that she's uh, the mighty force of nature, as they called us in Screen International. They called uh, Irina Atanasova the main uh, actress. <laughs> and actually the, the most difficult, uh, the difficult thing is if you stray stronger. The easiest is to go to, to go, be weak, to be weak, <laughs> to go so, under. <laughs> so it's better to be strong. Without them, we couldn't do the film, the, uh, and we are very thankful that we found the, the best. Uh, main characters of a dog and a cat in, in the world. Uh, the cat uh, was reading the script, the, she, he was very um, uh, punctual and very, very like very uh, disciplined. Very responsible cat indeed. It's and we had no one. problem with the cat, uh, also with the dog. The dog is, as you know, pit bulls are, could be quite dangerous, so we, this Chucky was uh, the softest, uh, sweetest dog we could have found. Thank you so much. Enjoy Cat in the Wall. You will be uh, hopefully uh, enlightened with the uh, um, female uh, force and power. Hopefully. Yeah, and be and healthy and a lot of... Stay uh, safe. Stay safe. Hugs. Bye. Bye. Mm -hmm.